Teresa! What a surprise! What are you doing here? Timothy! I don't believe it! I'm going to see my daughter. She will marry this weekend. How about you? I'm going to visit my parents. When is your daughter's wedding? Sunday. Wow! This Sunday is the 45th wedding anniversary of their wedding, too. This is a surprise. Anyway, where is your train leaving from? My train leaves from Platform 3, over there. How long will you... Now leaving from Platform 3, train for Vancouver. That's my train! I have to run. Sorry we didn't have more time to talk. That's okay. I'll see you when you get back. Have a good time, and say congratulations to your parents. Raymond! Oh, hi Grace. How have you been? Good. I hear you've been in Toronto for a few days. Yes, I just got back yesterday. Did you have a nice visit? Really nice. It was very good for going around downtown and shopping. And I saw the Toronto Blue Jays game at Sky Dome. I see that Toronto is a very exciting city. My brother Stanley was there, too. You've met Stanley, haven't you? Sure. I met him when he was here in Hamilton last year. What's he doing these days? Still teaching baseball? Yes. As a matter of fact, he just began to teach elementary school. Great! How's everything with his kids? Have you met my nieces? Yes, they visit you once in the summer, didn't they? Right. They're both fine. I haven't seen them in a long time. They must be really big. Well, they will come over this Christmas. Let's have a great Christmas party together. That's a good idea! Did you hear about the Smith family? No. What happened? Mrs. Smith passed away this morning. That's a shame. What from? Heart attack, I think. That's a terrible thing. Yes. Mrs. Smith went into the hospital last night by ambulance and died this morning. Had she been suffering from heart disease? Yeah. Mrs. Smith had it for five years before she died. Did they try surgery? <sighs> she had two operations, but they weren't effective. I feel sorry for Mr. Smith. Have you heard about the good news in the Wallace family? No, I've been out of town. Mrs. Wallace went into the hospital last night and gave a birth to a baby girl seven hours later. That's very good, but they already have a little girl, don't they? No, they have a five-year-old boy. So they wanted a girl this time, right? Yes, they wanted a girl for a long time. Was it a natural childbirth? No, she had to have a C-section. Do you like my new coat? It looks terrific. I'm glad you like it. How much was it? Eighty dollars. That's a good price. 
Yeah, it was on sale. Where did you get it? At Sears. I like to shop there too. They always have really good sales. Maybe you should go there today. They have a sale on the shirt if you're interested. Good idea! I need some. What a beautiful day. Yes. There's not a cloud in the sky. What's the temperature? It's at 70 degrees. I love October. Me too. It's not too hot and not too cold. Fall is my favorite season. Mine too. The weather is almost perfect. And the leaves are very pretty when they change colors. Is it cold out? Yes, it's cold and windy. I'm going to wear a heavy coat. Good idea. Where are you going? To the post office. Why? To mail this package. Would you buy some stamps for me? Sure. How many do you want? Ten. Here's the money for the stamps. Okay. I'll be back in twenty minutes unless I get blown away. Do you like snow? No, I hate it. Why? Snow is so pretty. Yes, but I don't like to drive in it. Well, it's beginning to snow. And I have to drive to work. How far is it to work? Six miles. Are we going to get a lot of snow? About twelve inches, they say. Oh no! Driving will be dangerous. Please be careful. I will. By the way, can I borrow your car? When is your vacation? It starts next week. Where are you going? We're renting a house on the shore. That's wonderful! Yes, we love the ocean. Do you swim a lot? Not very much. Then why are you going to the shore? Because we all bought new swimsuits. Hi, what's wrong? I feel unwell and keep vomiting all the time. How long have you felt like this? Nearly two days. It started just before going to bed the day before yesterday. Let me examine you. I will press on your stomach to see if it hurts, and then listen to your heart. Okay. It doesn't hurt when you press my stomach. I just feel tired. Okay. Did you eat anything different from usual before you started to feel this way? Yes. My boyfriend cooked dinner for me. He isn't a very good cook, and the food tasted a bit strange. You've got food poisoning. It's not very serious, and you should be better in another day. Oh dear, what should I do? You need to drink lots of water and get plenty of rest. Okay, thank you, doctor.
you're welcome. If you are not better in 48 hours, come and see me again. Ah! What's wrong? Are you okay? I cut myself. I am bleeding. I'll bind you up right away. Is it better now? Yes, it's much better. Thank you. Good morning, Mr. Jones. What is wrong? Morning. I feel very ill. I am coughing and sneezing. I have felt hot and cold all the time, and eating makes me feel sick. Let me take your temperature. How long have you had the symptoms? They started about a day ago. Yes, your temperature is very high. You have the flu. You'll have to go home and stay in bed until it gets better. Drink a lot of water. Can you give me some medicine? I can give you something to reduce the fever, but you just need to get rest. I will write you a prescription and you can collect the medicine from the pharmacy. Okay, thank you. What's the matter? Are you not feeling well? I feel a little dizzy. Let's sit down for a while until you feel better. Okay. I feel better now. Let's go. Oh, what's wrong? I have an earache. Oh, I think we should go to the doctor right away. Let me check your blood pressure. You have high blood pressure. That's why you are dizzy sometimes. Let me check your ear. Oh, I see. It's an infection. Good morning, Ms. Smith. I have your test results here. Good. I hope that everything is all right. Yes, everything is okay. There are no major problems. I would suggest you try not to eat too much food with a lot of cholesterol in it. Oh dear, is my cholesterol level too high? It is quite high, and you should try to stop it from getting any higher. Okay. Can you prescribe me some medicine to help reduce cholesterol? No, it isn't too high. So it would be better for you to lead a healthier lifestyle rather than take medicine. Okay, doctor. I'll try. Okay. That will be good. Thank you, doctor. I'll make another appointment if I need to come and see you at the surgery again. It's so hot today. Let's have ice cream, shall we? Oh, I'm afraid I can't. I have a terrible toothache. I'm sorry to hear that. You should see a dentist. Yep, I will. Hello. What's wrong with you? My daughter has a fever, doctor. Let me check it first. The girl's temperature looks high. Let me listen to your heart 
and breathing with the stethoscope. Now breathe in, breathe out deeply. Good girl. Let's see your throat. Now I will check the knee reflex. Don't be afraid. It doesn't hurt. I will give you a good medicine that will make the temperature get lower. The beautiful girl will feel better soon. Thank you, doctor. Good morning, my dear. You look worried. Is everything all right? Look, Mom, I woke up this morning with this awful rash on my hand. It's so itchy. Don't scratch. I'll buy you a cream to soothe the itch. Okay, Mom. Good morning, dear. You must hurry up. You are going to be late for work. I am afraid I can't go. I am not feeling good. What's wrong with you? I have a cold. Then you should stay in bed today. I will make you some warm herbs. Ouch! What's wrong? What happened? I have a backache. I think you should get some rest. Let's sit down for a while. Morning, Mom. I'm going to work. Lovely, dear. Well, good luck. Thanks, Mom. Bye, Mom. Bye, love. Come on. This is his first day of work. Oh, yes. Good luck to you. Thanks, Dad. Bye. Good morning, Mr. Parker. Good morning, Mr. Johnson. How are you today? I'm doing great. What about you? I'm fine, thank you. Welcome to your first day in our company. Linda will introduce you to the team. Thank you very much, Mr. Parker. Glad to have you on our team, Mr. Johnson. Linda, would you take Mr. Johnson to introduce him to the team, please? Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Mr. Johnson, would you like to tour the office first and then meet your colleagues? Yes, of course. Okay, please come with me, Mr. Johnson. Please call me Mark. Okay, Mark, this will be your desk and this is your chair. This is your computer. This is your telephone. These are your files. Wow! It feels like it is my birthday. Well, here are some more birthday presents. Here are your pens and pencils, your calculator, your ruler, your scissors, and your stapler. Thanks. You're welcome. By the way, a moment ago, I didn't hear your name. Oh, my name is Linda. Yes, Linda. Can you tell me where I can find the printer? It's in the right corner. So, if I need a fax, where is the fax machine? 
the fax machine is here, and the coffee machine is at the end of the hall. You can use it at any time. Okay, thanks. If you have something else you don't know, just ask me. Now, I will introduce you to everyone. Oh, thank you so much. Good morning, guys. I have an announcement to make. Could you all please gather here? We have a new member of our team for today, Mark. Hi. Please tell them about yourself. Hi, everyone. My name is Mark. I'm 23. I'm from California. I will be working in the sales department. Welcome. I'm Susan. What were you doing before joining our team? I just finished my college degree in business. This is my first job. It is good to have you here, Mark. How long have you been here? I've been here for three years. Oh, yes. And you? Yeah, I'm Tom. Nice to meet you. I've been here for four years. Thank you. Nice to meet you, too. I look forward to receiving the help of everyone in my work. Of course. Do you live far from here? Not very far. About four kilometers. Are you single, Mark? Yes, I'm still single. We are happy to have you here, Mark. Come see us if you have any questions. Thanks, guys. See you. Hi, Mark. I am Kelly. I'll be assisting you with your training assignment. Good to meet you, Kelly. So, where should we start? First is the working time. You will work from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. You have an hour and a half break at noon. Some regulations during working hours have an official draft. I will give you it later. Yes, I know. Well, you've also got to learn about our practices. We have rules for everything in this company, you know. Oh, that's interesting. Don't worry. I'm just talking about the rules for handling customers. We like to make sure that our customers are happy here. I know what you mean, Kelly. I've been in customer support myself in my internship course. Great. Then you should have no problems. Hi, Alex. Hi, Tom. Good to see you. You too. How have you been? Very busy. You? Never better, thanks. And how's your new job? It's okay. There's a lot to learn. You look tired. You need to relax. What are you going to do this weekend? Hmm, let me see. 
I am going to go offline with the guitar club. What's up? Oh, I want to invite you to go camping with us this weekend. This weekend? Yes. Do you want to join? Oh, yes, of course. How many people go together? And who are they? Including you, there will be five people. We are going to go with Peter, Maria, and Susan. Oh, what about Sally? She declined as soon as I mentioned it. Why? Because we had some problems at the last camping. What happened? There were many mosquitoes where we camped, and Sally was the one who got bitten the most. She got itchy all over. Is that why she doesn't want to go again? No. The main reason is that night a bear came close to our area. A bear? Yes, exactly. A bear. It made Sally extremely scared and haunted. What happened next? We kept hearing its growl from the side of the tent over and over again. But luckily, it just ate up the leftovers and left. We had a barbecue that day, got a few pieces of chicken burned, and when we cleaned, we forgot to throw them away. We peeked through and saw that the bear had left. We went over to Sally's tent to check the situation. She was so scared. Even though we reassured her, Sally couldn't sleep all night. The next morning, she looked extremely tired. Oh, really? So, what are you going to do to remedy that situation? Don't worry, Alex. We have mosquito repellent. And after eating, please remove all leftovers away from the area. What activities are we going to do that day? Well, we are going to get the campsite on Friday afternoon. We'll rest for a while and then pitch a tent. After that, we are going to prepare food to hold a barbecue. Of course, we can drink a little. Haha, <laughs> we will chill together. Ah, yes. Are you going to bring your guitar there? It would be great if we were playing the guitar while singing together. Yes, I'll bring it there. Okay. We are going to talk and watch the stars together that night. On Saturday morning, we are going to go fishing together. And we are going to enjoy grilled fish at noon. Wow, that's great. I love to go fishing. In the late afternoon, we are going to go swimming. The water in the lake is very clear and cool. But I don't know how to swim. Don't worry, Alex. I swim very well, and I'll teach you how to swim. Really? Thank you, Tom. You're welcome. On Saturday night, we are going to have burgers and play chess. Do you know how to play, Alex? Yes, I do. After that, let's rest comfortably so that Sunday morning we are going to go climbing. We are going to be back on Sunday at noon. Yes, 
That's a great plan. What have you prepared? Do you need any more help? I am going to bring tents and tools. Peter is going to bring hammocks and sleeping cushions. Maria and Susan are going to prepare food, drinks, knives, and charcoal. Oh, I've remembered. Can you bring your headlights and flashlights away? Of course. So I am going to bring my guitar, headlights, and flashlights, right? Yes, that's right. Thanks for the invitation. I'm very excited about this trip. You're welcome. See you this Friday afternoon. Okay. See you.